Can you have a fun car in Finland cheaply? Let's go this way so you can actually see me. It's too bright. Sunny, it's a nice day. We're here at Carmox with Fred to pick up the French shitbox. <laughs> Definitely the cheapest car for money on Nette Auto. It was listed at 1900. We negotiated a little bit down. We're about to go into said showroom here, pick up my 48% off car. I'll post more when I get it. Finland's, Finland's cheapest hot hatch. And I know it's traditional to sell a car with as little fuel as possible, but when you can't even get it started to drive out of the showroom, this is a whole new level of driving on fumes. But as suspected, battery is toast. We need to go and buy a new battery. We have one in the car. Came prepared for that one. Couldn't get a discount for it, but hey ho, we tried. Let's switch the camera around so you can see the rest of it. Finest hour. No battery. No gas. <laughs> Typical Clio wheel that's uh, delaminating and coming away. My genuine synthetic leather seems to be dead. Handy. Um, I don't know what you would call this, uh, removable handles, lightweight, there's less of the plastic on it. I still have the original wheels, seats don't look too bad. How's the rest of it? It looks like it's had a wee, but it's just the ice that's melted. Here we have some quality repairs from somebody that's uh, obviously had a little bit of a fight with inertia and lost with some sort of moving object, immovable object. From the oak tree comes wisdom. Sadly, I bought a French car, so there is none. It's not, it's not all bad. It's still pretty bad. I'm pretty sure this is my piddling rust nut marks. Let's see what's underneath there. Some rusty wheel arches. And here's the thing that's not been used for a while. Somebody's been living next to a tree. Yeah. Oh, comes with an extra radio. Lucky me. Rear bumper has also had a bit of a, an argument with something. Let me see the, the joys of the rear arch. A little bit special. You know, it's come up okay, a few car park dents. What can you see? Here's the rest of the world. Pretty sure they're gonna have to give me something now, since at least I have zero fuel, zero battery. I should probably actually disconnect this one before it sucks that battery to death as well. So there we have it. Part one of the croissant, because it's crusty. I think we just have to call it the croissant, or croissant for you Finns. Ooh, check out my teenage window tint. Mmm. Hey, it's not a, uh, not a bad job. Somebody actually paid somebody to do it properly. It's about the only thing that's proper on this car. The rest of it, not so much. She lives! Finally, we put some fuel in it. Then it wouldn't start, like, at all. Completely dead. We're not sure what it was. I wiggled some wires in there. It could be the crank position sensor, or it could be that it's French and it just didn't want to move. I don't know, maybe it's on strike. Is that terribly, am I, am I racial profile? I don't know. Anyway, it works. I had to turn it on and off a few times with the immobilizer, wriggled the wires in the engine bay. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Go back to the college, fit the new battery in it, try and figure out what to do with it. The crusty croissant is alive. Just. Let's see how we go.